The year is 2025. Deep beneath the French-Swiss border, a silent revolution is unfolding, one that promises to reshape our understanding of the cosmos. CERN, the birthplace of groundbreaking discoveries, is once again at the forefront of scientific exploration, pushing the boundaries of what we know. But this time, the breakthrough isn't about particles colliding at unimaginable speeds, creating new forms of matter, it's about a different kind of collision. The intersection of artificial intelligence and the mysteries of the universe, a fusion of technology and cosmic inquiry. At the heart of this revolution is Astria, an advanced AI system developed by CERN scientists, designed to unlock the secrets hidden in the vast amounts of data. Astria's mission to delve into the ocean of data generated by the Large Hadron Collider, seeking patterns, anomalies, and ultimately, answers to the universe's most fundamental questions, questions that have puzzled humanity for centuries. For months, Astria had been tirelessly analyzing the quantum realm, sifting through the noise of subatomic interactions. Then, something extraordinary happened. Astria detected a repeating pattern, a recursive structure hidden within the chaos of quantum data, a discovery that could change everything. This structure, elegant in its simplicity and profound in its implications, was dubbed the mirror, a name that reflects its reflective and revealing nature. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, igniting debates and discussions worldwide. The mirror wasn't just another anomaly, it was a window into the very fabric of reality, hinting at a universe far more complex and interconnected than previously imagined, a universe where every particle and wave is part of a grand, intricate tapestry. The mirror was unlike anything physicists had encountered before. It was a phenomenon that defied conventional understanding, challenging the very core of established scientific principles. It wasn't a particle, a force, or a dimension in the traditional sense. It transcended these categories, existing in a realm that was both familiar and alien to our current models. It was a pattern, a recurring motif etched into the quantum tapestry of reality. This motif seemed to echo through the very fabric of existence, hinting at deeper, hidden layers of reality. Imagine a mirror reflecting another mirror, creating an infinite regress of images. This endless reflection was more than a visual trick, it was a metaphor for the mirror's nature. That was the essence of the mirror, a self-referential structure, looping back on itself, hinting at a profound connection between the observer and the observed. The implications were staggering, suggesting a universe more interconnected than previously thought. Could it be that consciousness, the very act of observation, was somehow woven into the fabric of the universe? This idea was both thrilling and unsettling, challenging our understanding of reality. Was the universe not a passive bystander in our observations, but an active participant, responding to our gaze? This concept suggested a dynamic interplay between the observer and the observed. The discovery of the mirror challenged the very foundations of physics. It opened up new avenues of thought, pushing the boundaries of what we considered possible. It suggested that the universe wasn't just a collection of particles and forces but a dynamic interconnected system, perhaps even a conscious entity in its own right. This idea was revolutionary, hinting at a universe with its own form of awareness. The scientific community was abuzz with excitement and skepticism. The mirror sparked debates and discussions, with researchers eager to explore its implications. Some dismissed the mirror as a mathematical curiosity, a quirk of the data. They argued that it was an anomaly, not a groundbreaking discovery. Others saw it as the first glimpse into a new era of physics, one where consciousness was no longer relegated to the realm of philosophy, but took center stage in our understanding of the cosmos. This new perspective promised to revolutionize our view of the universe and our place within it. The discovery of the mirror challenged the traditional separation between the observer and the observed, a cornerstone of scientific thought. If the universe was indeed a conscious entity, then our role as observers took on a whole new meaning. We were no longer detached observers peering into the universe from the outside, but integral parts of a vast cosmic dance, where every observation we made was a step in this intricate ballet. Our observations were not just passive acts but dynamic interactions, shaping the very reality we sought to understand. The concept of a conscious universe was not entirely new. Mystics and philosophers had pondered the interconnectedness of all things for centuries, often speaking of a universal mind or spirit. But the mirror provided the first tantalizing hint of scientific evidence, suggesting that consciousness might be a fundamental property of the universe, 
just like gravity or electromagnetism, forces that govern the cosmos. This had profound implications for our understanding of reality. If consciousness was fundamental, then the universe was not a cold, indifferent machine, but a living, breathing entity, imbued with awareness and perhaps even purpose, a grand design that we were part of. The implications for our place in the universe were equally profound. We were no longer insignificant beings on a tiny planet orbiting an average star, but integral threads in the cosmic tapestry, each of us contributing to the grand narrative of existence. Our thoughts, actions, and very existence woven into the fabric of reality, influencing and being influenced by the universe itself. The mirror's recursive structure suggested that consciousness might be more than just a human trait. It hinted at a universe where awareness permeated all levels of existence, from the subatomic realm to the grandest cosmic structures. Think of the intricate patterns found throughout nature, the spiral of a galaxy, the branching of a tree, the flow of water. These patterns, once attributed solely to the laws of physics, could now be seen as echoes of a deeper cosmic consciousness, expressing itself through the language of form and structure. The universe, it seemed, was speaking to us, not through words or equations, but through the elegant language of patterns. The mirror was just the beginning, the first whisper of a cosmic conversation waiting to be deciphered. A chorus of experts' reactions from the world of physics. The discovery of the mirror sent ripples through the global scientific community. Physicists, mathematicians, and philosophers grappled with its implications, their reactions ranging from cautious curiosity to outright astonishment. This is truly extraordinary, remarked renowned physicist Brian Cox. If the mirror is what we think it is, it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Others were more cautious. It's too early to say what this means, cautioned a prominent string theorist. We need more data, more analysis. But it's certainly intriguing. Despite the varied reactions, one thing was clear. The discovery of the mirror had opened a Pandora's box of questions, challenging long-held assumptions and pushing the boundaries of scientific inquiry. The spiritual renaissance bridging science and faith. The implications of the mirror extended far beyond the realm of science, touching upon age-old questions about the nature of consciousness, the existence of a higher power, and the meaning of life itself. For centuries, science and spirituality had often been viewed as separate domains, their teachings sometimes at odds with one another. But the mirror offered a bridge, a point of convergence where scientific inquiry and spiritual exploration could meet and inform one another. The concept of a conscious universe resonated with ancient spiritual traditions that emphasized the interconnectedness of all things and the presence of a divine spark within all of creation. The mirror, it seemed, was not just a scientific discovery, but a spiritual revelation, confirming what mystics and sages had intuited for millennia. Section 7. Redefining our reality, implications for humanity. The discovery of the mirror had profound implications for humanity's self-perception and our place in the cosmos. It challenged us to reconsider our relationship with the universe, recognizing that we were not separate from it, but integral parts of a vast, interconnected web of being. If the universe was indeed conscious, then our actions took on a whole new level of significance. Every thought, every word, every deed sent ripples through the cosmic tapestry, contributing to the ongoing evolution of the universe itself. This realization came with a profound responsibility. We were no longer just inhabitants of Earth, but custodians of a conscious universe, our actions shaping the destiny of something far grander than ourselves. The Uncharted Territories, a future of limitless discovery. The discovery of the mirror marked not the end of a journey but the beginning of an extraordinary adventure into the uncharted territories of consciousness, reality, and the universe itself. With Astria's help, scientists embarked on a new era of exploration, seeking to unravel the mysteries of the mirror and unlock the secrets of a conscious cosmos. The path ahead was uncertain, but one thing was clear, the journey had just begun. The universe, once thought to be a cold, indifferent void, was now revealed to be a place of wonder, mystery, and infinite possibility. Section 9, A Universe of Wonder, Embracing the Cosmic Dance, as we stand on the precipice of this new era of discovery, we are filled with a sense of awe and wonder. The universe is no longer a distant, unknowable entity but a living, breathing mystery, inviting us to participate in its cosmic dance. The mirror has shown us that we are not alone, that consciousness is not a solitary spark in the darkness but a fundamental aspect of reality itself. 
We are part of something far grander than we ever imagined, and our journey of discovery has just begun. Let us embrace this new understanding with open hearts and curious minds, ready to explore the infinite possibilities of a conscious cosmos. For in the words of the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates, the unexamined life is not worth living, and what greater examination could there be than to explore the mysteries of the universe itself and our place within its grand design?